You're not alone if you find it difficult to concentrate when studying. Studies reveal that 49% of people believe their attention span has decreased, and 50% of us check our phones on average once every 12 minutes. The modern world is full of an ever-increasing number of distractions, making it particularly difficult for students to focus. However, there are some straightforward tips supported by a ton of research that can help you improve your focus. In this video, we'll discuss a four-part framework that will help you stay focused while studying. Part one discusses mentality. Part two is the technique. Part three, the surroundings, and finally, the human aspect in part four. In the first part, mindset, it is stated that you must let go of the notion that attention is either something you have or something you don't. You can focus. To focus effectively, you need to adopt a growth mindset and consider attention to be something that can be learnt as opposed to something that comes naturally. You might approach this by asking yourself if you have trouble focusing when playing video games, most likely not. When watching Netflix, a movie, or hanging out with friends, do you find it difficult to concentrate? If the movie is monotonous, then perhaps, but otherwise definitely not. However, do you find it difficult to concentrate when you have to study for my test? Yes. Cool, what's going on over there? Playing video games is enjoyable and often stimulating, so you are having fun. Therefore, the mentality with which you approach the things that you need to concentrate is, how can I do this in a way that makes it feel more invigorating? Or how can I make this fun? Enjoying the journey is key. The journey comes first, not the destination. When you study with friends, it becomes much more enjoyable, energetic, and helps everyone focus because you are now doing it in front of other people. Try to frame what you are doing as more of an adventure. This is another thing you can do to improve your mindset. The second item is technique. Consider using the so-called Pomodoro technique. This style of time management is based on 25-minute blocks of concentrated work separated by 5-minute breaks. Make your group studies enjoyable by working for 25 minutes, then engaging in 5 minutes of group discussion or watching a YouTube video. Rinse and repeat. The fundamental reason for this is that a lot of evidence suggests that our brain has trouble maintaining sustained focus. According to certain research, a person can focus for a maximum of 90 minutes. However, 25 minutes seems like a sufficient length of time to complete a reasonable amount of work and is short enough to give you the impression that the break is about to begin. The Pomodoro technique is beneficial because, technically speaking, it ensures that you remain completely laser focused on the task at hand for the full 25 minutes without being interrupted by random notifications. The third item is environment. The first thing to note is that we simply want to try to limit distractions in your environment. There are numerous studies that prove this. According to one research titled Brain Drain, the mere existence of one's own smartphone lowers one's available cognitive capacity. This is also true whether your phone is on your desk as opposed to being in a different room. Having green plants nearby, in your office or on your desk, is another approach to simply increase your capacity for concentration. Your creativity will increase as a result, which is slightly related to focus. When your surroundings are motivating, it's much easier to concentrate. Try visiting co-working locations like offices, libraries or coffee shops, where there is a little bit of a buzzing vibe that will encourage you, when it comes to the human component, the fundamentals like relaxation, sleep, exercise and diet come in at number four. I've talked to a lot of students who found it difficult to concentrate and whose personal lives were generally disorganized because they didn't value sleep and partied until four in the morning. Try to cut back on fried food, takeout, daily chip consumption and lack of exercise. That question has a broad answer. Yes, caffeine is beneficial to your health. However, Try to keep it to two glasses each day. For more information on the benefits of caffeine for your health, talk to your doctor. Check out the video I made on overcoming laziness, the mind-blowing Zen secret. For more information on how to feel more energized and less lethargic, the end.